This is a video to show how to use a, a power velocity display or watch display to um, to set up a motor. Uh, basically, detect the motor right from the watch. You don't need to have a, a PC or laptop or a phone. You can do it right from this little watch here. So right now it's actually running in demo mode, and we'll be testing it on this uh, power velocity controller running. Um, best uh, uh, firmware and basically this watch can be used to uh, detect motor or used as a dash port like this uh, on uh, any VASC uh, controller because it supports that protocol so we'll be using this motor to run the detection basically I'll try to detect this motor okay uh, so right now it's in a demo mode um, I'm gonna need to go ahead and connect it's connected now I'll just go ahead and, and uh, make sure it's getting data and you can see that's 32 volts that's just right now in um, uh, extended uh, kind of information showing extended information still things to do here um, to f not not completely finished but let's go back to um, uh, motor detection so I'll go to settings Your settings uh, and sometimes do does that just once maybe now it works so we'll run the detection now so here as you can see you can set up a max power loss uh, invert direction if needed oops let's work on the uh, timeouts so I uh, here you would set up a regen um, amps your regen uh, current your uh, battery current um, then uh, you would go uh, set up your open loop ERPM, sensorless ERPM, motor pulse, gear ratio, all the critical settings that you want to set up on a new controller, wheel diameter, battery type, um, number of cells, battery capacity. Finally, you want to run the detect detection, right? So you will go. We will go and detect the resistance inductance and flux and holes. So it has done detection of well, two two phases of uh, right now. It's running the holes. So once it's done, it will show the uh, results. So it sh it says that it was successful. Uh, motor current, motor resistance inductance uh, flux temperature compensation setup all all good so yeah this motor is set up uh, so it's it's ready to go uh, that's that's all it took to set up a new motor and here we will just uh, go ahead and uh, verify that it, we, we got the right right uh, setting so we'll go ahead and connect here yeah so it's the same connected and we'll go ahead and read the configuration and the configuration this is our configuration let's compare that to the watch um, let's just go ahead and compare it to the watch and the watch is this 22 well it's this okay let's just look at the motor resistance 20.4 um, yeah it just doesn't show the the detail but um, so it's 20 04 4250 motor flux 4250 that's correct motor flux 17 17 and everything else looks good so detection was success so all we did was just use this little watch wirelessly set up everything and that's it. Thank you.